Now, if you've used a room with a smart board before, you'll certainly have noticed this little piece of software off the side. It's called the floating toolbar, and you've probably wondered what it's for. Now, some of the things it can do are launch pens, highlighters, and erasers, as well as buttons such as right click and keyboard. But, there are numerous other applications that you can launch from the floating toolbar. To access them, you press this little gear wheel at the very bottom. And this little menu pops up, and these are all the different apps that you can slide into your floating toolbar to have at the ready when you need. I'm not going to go through and show you each individual one, but if you want to experiment with one of these apps, what you need to do is grab it here and just drag it into your floating toolbar, and notice how it's there for me to use now. You don't actually launch them off this menu. If I try to double click one of them, nothing will happen. So if I want to use one, I have to drag it in and click the done button here. The one that I just dragged into the toolbar is called screen shade. And when I press this button, I can selectively reveal or hide parts of the screen. Say if I want to uh, have just the question showing and then reveal the answer to the students or if I want to go through a mathematical formula one line at a time. It comes in from the sides as well as up and down from the top and bottom. And when I want to close it, I just hit that X. That's one example of something that you can launch off the floating toolbar. Now there are many others and I encourage you to try them out. But if you're watching this video because you want to see how to get rid of this thing, then I have a couple of things to show you. First of all, you can press the double arrows to minimize and maximize it. If this tab is still too obtrusive for you, it might help to just press and move it around, perhaps to the other side. But if that's still too bad and you want the thing gone entirely, press this little up arrow down in the bottom right of your taskbar, and press the icon of the blue square with the white circle inside, and click Hide Floating Tools. And as you can see, it goes away. Now, if you decide that you do want it for something after all, then press the icon again, and this time it'll say Show Floating Tools, and you can click on that to get it back. So that's the floating toolbar. I encourage you to play around with some of the apps that it has to offer.